Um, I've always been interested in industrial sites, and I did a four-year study on a place called uh, Bethlehem Steel, which is in Pennsylvania in the United States, as they were closing down their facility. It was um, started in 1820, and they ended in 1999. I spent the last four years there photographing. And when I did a book, I decided I wanted to do another project. And through doing research, I found out about all the industrialization of Siberia uh, with the, with St under Stalin. And one of the plants I was most interested in was Magnitogorsk. And I found a book written by a man named Scott, who was an American. He was about 18, and his parents were communist sympathizers in the United States. And during the Depression, there was a sort of idealistic view of communism for a lot of Americans, I think, at the time. And he decided that he would actually go to the communist cause and help out. That was the best thing he could do as a, as a young man. So he studied welding at a GE plant in Schenectady, New York, and he moved to Berlin and he wrote letters to the people building the plant and they invited him as a skilled laborer to come to Magnitogorsk. And uh, he wrote this book about him, his experiences there, the actual building of the plant. He was there firsthand, um, you know, the untold deaths because the conditions were so tough. People lived in tents when they were building it. But ultimately, it's a very happy story for him because it's a success. It's the communist dream came true in that they built a city of 500,000 people. He married a beautiful Russian woman, of course, and had two beautiful Russian children and lived his life in Magnitogorsk. So his dream came true. It, and reading the firsthand document of being there and building this place, and I, there's very few pictures that exist about it. I just knew that it was probably the largest steel mill in the world. And I started uh, writing um, and finally realized I had to write in uh, Russian. And after about six months, finally I got an invitation for one day to come. And I just I pleaded with them saying that I had a lot of equipment to bring. It's a very far trip. But they said only one day. And, but once I came, they were extremely gracious and hospitable, and they invited me to stay for two weeks. And uh, they drove us around every day. They took us um, to the bathhouse. Uh, they treated us very well. Uh, lunch in the executive dining room. And to me, it was a dream come true to see such an incredible operating steel mill on such a large scale. And it was so, so vast. And... The technology, I think, was a little bit older than what I was used to seeing. So that was interesting because it was like stopping back in time. Um, and now coming back was shocking to me because Magnita, of course, the city has changed, the plant has changed. You can see that they've been very prosperous. They've invested a lot of money in new technologies. And I think that's what they wanted to show me yesterday. And I was pretty shocked and surprised. And it was kind of not what I expected, but it was a real pleasure and a surprise, just like Russia is every day a surprise.